When Emily clicked on what seemed like an ordinary email, little did she know, she was about to trigger a digital catastrophe that would bring her company to its knees. This wasn't just an unfortunate mishap. It was a wake-up call egoing across the digital landscape where a cyber attack occurs every 39 seconds and the looming shadow of cybercrime threatens to inflict $8 trillion in global damages. In this relentless digital battlefield, the need for cybersecurity heroes has never been more urgent. Amidst this chaos, a diverse brigade of cybersecurity professionals stands ready. From the analytical minds of security analysts to the swift actions of incident responders, each role offers a chance to be the shield in our increasingly interconnected world. Yet, as the digital threats multiply, so does the gap in the cybersecurity workforce, revealing a critical demand for new guardians of the net. Whether inspired by the strategic intricacies faced by security architects or the investigative pursuits of forensic experts, the journey into cybersecurity is rich with opportunities for impact through education, boot camps, or the forge of self directed learning. Anyone can step up to the challenge. Emily's ordeal is not just her story, it's a clarion call to action. As the digital domain teeters on the brink, the question remains how soon will you join the ranks to defend our digital future? The call to cybersecurity is loud and clear. Are you ready to respond? And before commencing, guys, if you are an aspiring cybersecurity professional looking for online training and certification from prestigious universities and in collaboration with leading experts to enhance your credibility, then search no more. Simply learn's postgraduate program in cybersecurity from MIT University in collaboration with EC Council should be your right choice. For more details, use the link mentioned in the description box below. And if these are the types of videos you would like to watch, then hit the subscribe button, like, and press on the bell icon to never miss out future content. So stay tuned with us until the end of this video, and don't forget to register your opinion in the comment section below. So let's get started with the top five entry-level cybersecurity jobs. And number one on the list is cybersecurity analyst. Cybersecurity analysts play a crucial role in safeguarding an organization's information systems by monitoring, detecting, analyzing, and responding to cyber threats. These professionals are the sentinels of the digital realm, ensuring the integrity, confidentiality, and availability of data. Here's a detailed look into the role, including the level, type, salary, and expectations, and educational background, skills, and certifications required. So we'll start with the role level. So the role level varies from entry level to the mid level. And if we talk about cybersecurity analyst positions, they are often accessible at the entry level for those with the right education and certifications through mid-level positions, though mid-level positions are available for those with more experience and advanced skills. Now moving to the role type. So the role type includes only technical knowledge. So this role is deeply technical, requiring a strong understanding of computer systems, networks, and cybersecurity principles. So analysts must be adept at using various cybersecurity tools and technologies. Now coming to the average salary. So the average salary for a cybersecurity analyst varies by location, experience, and education but generally falls in the range of $60,000 to $100,000 annually. For a more specific insight, as of the latest data, the average salary in the US is approximately $80,000. However, this number can significantly increase with specialized skills, certifications, and years of experience. So talking about education, so a bachelor's degree in computer science, information technology, cybersecurity, or a related field is typically required and some positions may accept relevant experience in place of a degree. Now coming to skills. So the number one skill required for this role is proficiency in identifying and mitigating vulnerabilities within network and information systems. Then comes familiarity with cybersecurity frameworks and standards. And then we have strong analytical skills to analyze data and understand potential threats. Then the skill needed is knowledge of penetration testing and techniques for assessing system vulnerabilities. Then we have ability to communicate complex security information in an understandable manner to non-technical staff. Then we have the experience with security information and event management, that is SIEM tools. And then we have understanding of encryption technologies and best practices. And after that, the skill is knowledge of network protocols and infrastructure. And then we have familiarity with laws and regulations affecting cybersecurity, including GDPR, NHI, PAA, depending on the industry. So these were the skills required for cybersecurity analysts. Now moving to the certifications. So earning certifications can greatly enhance a cybersecurity analyst's credentials and career prospects. 
Now talking about the popular certifications for this rule. So the number one on the list is CompTIA Security Plus, an entry-level certification covering a broad range of cybersecurity topics. And then we have Certified Information System Security Professional, CISSP, an advanced certification for professionals with at least five years of full-time experience in information security. And then on the list is GIAC Security Essentials Certification, GSEC. So this certification focuses on hands-on technical skills in information security. And then we have Certified Information Security Manager, CISM, on the list. That is designed for management more than the technical aspects, but still highly regarded in the industry. And then on the list is CompTIA Security Analyst, CYSA+, that focuses on behavioral analytics to improve the overall state of IT security through identifying and combating malware and advanced persistent threats, making it ideal for cybersecurity analyst. So this was all about the cybersecurity analyst. Now moving to the next role, that is incident responder. So now we will have a detailed overview, starting with understanding the role. So incident responders are critical to an organization's cybersecurity team, tasked with addressing and managing the aftermath of security breaches, cyber attacks, or other security incidents. Their role is pivotal in minimizing the damage from such incidents and preventing future breaches by analyzing what occurred and implementing improved defenses. So now we'll have an insightful look into the role of an incident responder. So talking about the role level, so this role level applies entries from entry level to mid level, while entry level positions are available, especially for those with relevant education backgrounds and certifications. Many incident responder roles require some levels of professional experience due to the complex nature of the work involved. And now talking about the role type, so it's technical and analytical. Incident responders combine technical expertise with analytical skills to investigate breaches, determine the cause, assess the impact and coordinate the responses to mitigate damage and strengthen security postures. Now talking about the average salary. So the salary for an incident responder can vary based on location, experience, and the specific sector that is public or private. So on average in the United States, incident responder can expect to earn between $60,000 to $120,000 annually with a median salary of approximate $92,000. This range reflects the demand for skilled professionals capable of handling complex cybersecurity incidents. Now coming to education and skills. So for the education, a bachelor's degree in cybersecurity information technology, computer science, or a related field is typically required. Some organizations may value practical experience alongside or in place of formal education. Now coming on the skills, so the number one skill required is proficiency in incident detection and response processes. So number two on the list is skilled in the use of forensic tools and techniques for data analysis and recovery. And next on the list is ability to perform root cause analysis to identify how breaches occur and suggest preventive measures. And next we have is knowledge of current cybersecurity threats, attack techniques, and landscape. And next on the list for the skills is strong understanding of network protocols, architecture, and security vulnerabilities. And then the person should know excellent problem solving skills to efficiently address security incidents. And the person should be capable of communicating complex information clearly to both technical and non-technical stakeholders. And experience with scripting languages, example Python, for automating tasks and analyzing data. So these were the skills. Now moving to the certifications. So certifications are a testament to an incident responder's expertise and dedication to their profession. So we'll talk about some relevant certifications for this role, starting with GCIH, Certified Incident Handler, that is offered by GIAC and focuses on managing security incidents by understanding common attack techniques, vectors, and tools. Now coming to the next certification, that is CISSP, Certified Information System Security Professional. While not incident response specific, it covers a broad range of security topics and is highly regarded in the industry. And the next on the list is Computer Hacking Forensic Investigator, CHFI. This certification deals with cybersecurity forensics, including investigating cyber attacks and extracting evidence to report crimes and conduct audits. And then on the list is EC Council Certified Incident Handler, ECIH, that focuses on the skills necessary to handle various types of cybersecurity incidents, including network security breaches, malicious code incidents, and insider attack events. Incident responders are at the heart of an organization's cybersecurity defense, acting swiftly to mitigate the effects of cyber attack and safeguard against future threats. So the combination of all these skills and the specialized education, hands-on experience, 
and relevant certification can prepare individuals for the challenges and rewards of this essential cybersecurity role. So now moving to the next role, that is security software developer. An in-depth overview will be given you over here. So security software developers are specialized professionals who focus on creating secure software applications. They are tasked with incorporating security measures throughout the software development lifecycle to prevent vulnerabilities and protect against cyber threats. We will give you a closer look at the role and the required salary types and the skills and certification. So starting with the role level. So this role level is open for the entry level, mid level and senior positions. So security software developer that is typically requires a substantial amount of experience as the role involves not just coding but also the integration of complex security measures. So entry level positions in this domain are rare with most professionals entering this field after gaining experience in general software development or cyber security. Now talking about the role type, so the role type includes technical knowledge. This role is highly technical and demands a deep understanding of both software development and cyber security principles. Security software developers must be proficient in coding, security best practices and the use of tools and techniques to identify and mitigate vulnerabilities. Now talking about the average salary. Salaries of security software developers can vary widely based on factors like location, experience, industry and the specific security skills possessed. On average, in the United States, salaries range from $70,000 to $120,000 annually with a median around $100,000. Those with specialized skills in high demand areas may vary high salaries. Now coming to the education and skills. So a bachelor's degree in computer science, software engineering, cyber security or a related field is generally required. And some roles may also favor candidates with a master's degree or specialized training in cyber security. Now talking about the skills. So the number one skills required is strong programming skills in languages commonly used for software development such as Java, C++, Python and others. And then coming on the next skill that is knowledge of secure coding practices and the ability to identify and fix vulnerabilities in code. Coming to the next that is experience with development tools and environments that is version control system and continuous integration or continuous deployment pipelines. The next on the list is familiarity with cyber security principles, threat models and attack vectors that affect software applications. Then we have ability to work with security testing tools and methodologies including static and dynamic analysis tools to find and mitigate security issues. And the person should know or have an understanding of encryption technologies and how to implement them in software applications. And the person should be excellent in problem solving skills and the ability to work collaboratively within a development team. Now coming to the certifications. So certification can enhance a security software developers qualifications and career prospects by demonstrating their expertise and commitment to secure development practices. So the relevant certificates include Certified Secure Software Lifecycle Professional CSSLP that is offered by ISC. Focuses on incorporating security into each phase of the software development lifecycle. And the next one on the list is GIAC. GIAC Secure Software Programmer GSSP that focuses on programming languages and aims to certify developers in secure coding principles and practices. And then we have Certified Information Systems Security Professional CISSP. While broader in scope, it includes aspects relevant to secure software development and is highly regarded in the cybersecurity field. And then we have CompTIA Security Plus that provides a foundation in cybersecurity principles and practices beneficial for developers entering the cybersecurity field. So security software developers play a vital role in today's digital ecosystem, crafting software that meets functional requirements while also being resilient to cyber threats. Their work ensures that software applications can protect user data and maintain integrity and confidentiality, making this role both challenging and essential in the fight against cybercrime. So now moving to the next role that is penetration tester or ethical hacker. Now we will have a comprehensive overview. So penetration testers, also known as ethical hackers, are cybersecurity professionals who specialize in probing for and exploiting security vulnerabilities in networks, applications and systems. Their primary role is to simulate cyber attacks in a controlled environment to identify and address potential security issues before malicious attackers can exploit them. So here's an in-depth look. We will first have a look at role level, that is entry level to senior level. So while there are entry level positions available in penetration testing, these often require foundational knowledge in cybersecurity and related experience. So progressing to more advanced roles typically involves gaining specialized skills and extensive experience in conducting sophisticated penetration tests. 
Now coming to the role type. So the role type is technical and analytical. The role of a penetration tester is highly technical and analytical. It requires a thorough understanding of various cybersecurity principles, as well as the ability to think like an attacker to uncover vulnerabilities that could be exploited. Now coming to the average salary. So the average salary for penetration testers can vary widely depending on experience, certificates, and the complexity of the work and geographic location. So in the United States, the average salary ranges from $70,000 to $130,000 annually, with a median salary of approximate $92,000. And the senior level penetration testers and those with highly specialized skills can expect salaries at the higher end of this range. And now moving to the education and skills. So bachelor's degree in cybersecurity, information technology, computer science or a related field is often required. However, a strong portfolio of practical experience and relevant certification can sometimes substitute for formal education. Now coming to the skills. So the number one on the list is proficiency in penetration testing tools and techniques that includes both manual and automated methods. The number two on the list is knowledge of network protocols, encryption techniques, and operating system vulnerabilities. And then we have ability to identify and exploit vulnerabilities in web applications, networks, and systems. And then we have familiarity with scripting and programming languages such as Python, Bash, or PowerShell for automation and tool development. And then we have understanding of cybersecurity frameworks and compliance requirements. And then excellent problem solving skills and creativity for finding new ways to breach defenses. And last on the list is strong communication skills that is for preparing and presenting findings to both technical and non-technical audiences. Now moving to the certifications. So certifications play a crucial role in the field of penetration testing by validating one's skills and knowledge. So popular certification for penetration testers include Offensive Security Certified Professional OSCP, one of the most respected certification for hands-on offensive information security professionals focusing on penetration testing skills. And next on the list is Certified Ethical Hacker CEH, offered by EC Council that covers a broad range of topics in ethical hacking and penetration testing. And then we have GIAC Penetration Tester GPN that focuses on penetration testing methodologies and best practices. And then we have Licensed Penetration Tester LPD. A certification that goes beyond technical skills to include the legal and ethical aspects of penetration testing. And then we have Comptia Pen Test Plus. So that covers a penetration testing and vulnerability assessment and management that is suitable for professionals looking to enter the field. So penetration testers are vital to the cybersecurity ecosystem, offering a proactive approach to discovering and mitigating vulnerabilities before they can be maliciously exploited. With cyber threats continually evolving, the demand for skilled penetration testers remain high, offering a challenging and rewarding career path for those with the passion and dedication to pursue it. So this was all about penetration testers. Now moving to the last entry level cybersecurity role that is network security architect. So network security architects play a crucial role in designing, implementing and maintaining an organization's network security infrastructure. They ensure the security of data transmitted across digital networks, protecting it from cyber threats and unauthorized access. So now we will have an in-depth overview, starting with the role level, that is entry level to advanced level. So network security architects typically occur a senior position within an organization's IT or cybersecurity department. This role requires substantial experience in network and information security, as it involves the responsibility of overseeing the security architecture of the entire network. Now moving to the role type, that is technical and managerial. So this role is both technical and managerial, requiring a deep understanding of network technologies and security principles as well as the ability to lead projects, manage teams and communicate effectively with other departments and stakeholders. Now talking about the average salary, so the average salary for network security architects can vary significantly based on factors like location, industry and the size of the organization. So in the United States, the average salary ranges from $100,000 to $160,000 annually with a median salary of approximately $120,000. Salaries at the higher end of the range are typically found in larger metropolitan areas and at companies with extensive network security needs. So now, talking about education and skills. So bachelor's degree in computer science, cybersecurity, information technology or related field is generally required. Many employees also value candidates with a master's degree or specialized training in network security or architecture. Now coming to the skills list. So network security architect should have expertise in network architecture and network security technologies, including firewalls, VPNs, intrusion detection systems, and encryption protocols. And then he should have proficiency in risk assessment methodologies and security standards such as ISO 27001 
NIST and others. And next on the list is knowledge of current cyber security threats, attack techniques and landscape. And then we have experience with secure network design principles and the ability to develop and implement security policies and procedures. And then we have strong project management skills and the ability to lead security initiatives. And then we have excellent communication skills for explaining complex security concepts to non-technical stakeholders. And then on the list is familiarity with compliance requirements and data protection laws relevant to the organization's industry. Now coming to the certifications. So certifications are crucial for demonstrating expertise in network security architecture. So relevant certification for network security architects include number one on the list is Certified Information System Security Professional CISSP that is recognized globally. CISSP is one of the most prestigious cybersecurity certifications and covers various aspects of information security, including network architecture. Then on the list is Cisco Certified Network Professional Security, CCNP Security, that focuses on security solutions and technologies used in networking environments. And then we have Certified Information Security Manager, CISM, that targets the management aspect of the information security and is ideal for professionals looking to move into leadership roles. And then we have Certified Cloud Security Professional, CCSP, for architects working with cloud technologies. CCS covers cloud security architecture, design, operations, and service orchestration. And the last on the list is TOGF 9 certification. While not exclusively focused on security, TOGF, the open group architecture framework. This certification is valuable for understanding enterprise architecture, which includes network security. Network security architects are vital to protecting an organization's information assets and ensuring the integrity and availability of data across networks. With the increasing complexity of cyber threats and the expansion of network devices and cloud services, the demand for skilled network security architects continues to grow. So this role offers a rewarding career path for those with the expertise and ambition to develop secure network environments in an ever-evolving cybersecurity landscape. And with that, guys, we have come to the end of this session. We hope you enjoyed this insightful tutorial. If you like this session, then like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, then you can drop them in the comment section below. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations and delivered by industry experts, choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.